Hello and welcome guys to the next lecture in section 4 where I will introduce the last two candlestick patterns which also make an important part of the support and resistance trading strategy. Firstly, we will study the long legged dodgy. When you look at a trading chart, you will notice various dodges which is a candle with no real body. A dodgy represents indecision among buyers and sellers as price moves nowhere during this session. Both buyers and sellers have control over the price at some point during the session before price closes at its opening price, hence making market directionless. However, for this strategy, we are only looking to analyze and trade the long-legged dodgy or sometimes I call it as a magic dodgy. As the name suggests, this single candle formation consists of both large lower and upper tail or wick with almost no or very small real body. Also, you will take trading positions using a long-legged dodgy both in bull and bear market. When analyzing a long-legged dodgy, you will always keep the following guidelines in mind. Whether this long-legged dodgy appeared after a prolonged move in price and time. This means when a long-legged dodgy appears after an uptrend or downtrend, it reflects the confusion among buyers and sellers, hence pointing to a possible reversal. Whether this long-legged dodgy is also associated to key support or resistance levels. A long-legged dodgy seen at a key level offers even higher probability of a trend reversal in sight. Let us study long legged dodgy using some examples now. Guys, I'm using US dollar and Swiss franc to study a long legged dodgy. From a major level which acted as key resistance on this pair, price declined in a clear downtrend before a long legged dodgy appeared on a key level. Notice the extended tails of this dodgy with very small real body indicating weakness in the market. and then market rallied sharply in an uptrend following the appearance of long-legged dodgy. This time a long-legged dodgy appeared after an uptrend. And then market went into a small consolidation phase on daily charts before the larger downtrend began on this pair. Guys, there is another long legged dodgy on this price chart as I show you here, which also bought a pause to the uptrend. The fact that it came at a major level made this dodgy worthwhile as it presented a sell opportunity on this pair. The next example is of pound and Swiss franc and a long legged dodgy terminated the existing downtrend at a key support zone. Notice the large lower tail of this candle signaling sellers were unable to maintain their control over the market. Therefore, price advanced in a bullish trend. The last example is US dollar and Japanese yen forex chart. The guidelines stay the same after a clear upward trend in price, long legged dodgy appears at a key level, hence providing a high profitable opportunity. Please keep in mind that the color of the long legged dodgy is not important while analyzing market stop or market bottom. Guys, this also concludes the examples of long legged dodgy as we continue studying the last key candlestick pattern in this strategy. Guys, the last candlestick formation you need to know is called isolated pivots. This is a three candle formation which is seen after both an uptrend and a downtrend just like the dodgy. To understand how isolated pivots look in an uptrend, imagine a market progressing in an uptrend and then a candle with a small real body reveals possible weakness in the market. This second candle is also bullish in color but has a very small real body and small lower or upper tails. And then during the third and final candle, a very strong bearish candle with a large body appears, signaling a change in trend. 
Please note that the second or middle candle must have a higher low compared to the previous candle and the next candle. Guys, exactly the opposite applies during a downtrend for isolated pivots. Isolated pivots are mostly used during sideways price activity, hence they present perfect opportunities when market enters a consolidation phase after a sharp trend. To understand isolated pivots, let's look at few examples. Here we're looking at Swiss franc and Japanese yen daily charts. I will quickly plot the support and resistance zones based on the sideways price activity before we proceed. Notice the three candles here guys, the first candle was very bullish signaling the continuation of the uptrend. Second candle was also bullish in color but had a very small real body. And finally third candle was heavily bearish indicating the new selling strength in the market. The second candle must have a higher closing price compared to the other two candles of the isolated pivots to validate the pattern. Let's study another example of US dollar and Japanese yen. Here the isolated pivots presented trading opportunities at both price support and price resistance zones. It is very important that we stick to the guidelines to gain confidence in our analysis. Guys, now that we have finished studying all the key patterns that you need to know, I am confident that you will use your analysis wisely to achieve your target returns. More often than not, you will notice one of these key candlestick patterns on any trading instruments of your choice, hence offering potential trading opportunities. So traders, this also concludes this lecture and the section 4 of this course. Please go through these lectures thoroughly to understand these patterns carefully as I promise these are all the patterns you need to know to become a successful trader. And I will see you in the next lecture.